Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket showcase, I'm going to be showcasing the Polly Pocket Starshine Palace from 1996. This gorgeous set looks like a luxurious perfume bottle. It also comes with a long cord, so you can wear it like a necklace. Although, it would be a slightly awkward, super large necklace. Like Flavor Flav. Here she is, so gorgeous. I cannot get over the exterior, it's just so beautifully designed. Here is the perfume shape. We have the stopper up here, and the body which would contain the hypothetical perfume. Right at the front is a little Polly Pocket logo, and all around here we have some gorgeous, gorgeous textures. It almost looks antique. We also have some purple heart gems here. Even though it's made of plastic, the way they cut it, it just looks very shiny and sparkly. And we have a gigantic star-shaped gem in the middle. We can also twirl this purple gem up here, and we can see the interior spinning. More extra detail on the bottom. We can see the little squigglies for the legs and a tiny heart right there. I love how you can see the interior. I just love see-through plastic like this. It reminds me of the early 2000s, even though this is from the 90s. I actually have this on backwards because the Polly Pocket logo is on the other side. So the Polly Pocket logo is repeated twice. We have another one here. This is the condensed version of just two peas, and we see this super intriguing, interesting shape on the back. The sparkly platform that we can see through the plastic, that is so unique. I have never seen that in any toy. Again, we can see the interior all around here, which gives it more visual interest. And below, we have the good old Bluebird logo and the year, which is 1996. Before even opening this compact, we can already tell that there's so many interesting things inside. We can hear all the pieces. I normally take the pieces out when I showcase, but with this one, I wanted to leave them in so we can really see through the compact. There's Princess Polly, and you can wear this as a long necklace if you want to channel Flavor Flav and have this big old thing dangle from your body. I just realized that whoever I bought this from left the necklace tangled up, and I just noticed it because I was so excited to showcase this. Pardon me while I untangle this. The cord actually doesn't look very nice, and you can see where it's been tangled that it's folded, but luckily this is very easy to replace. You can just get a thin ribbon from Amazon or a craft store and just tie the ends over here, so this is super easy to replace. I'm going to remove this, and this opens up to reveal a compartment. We can put Polly right in here, close it up, and we can also wear this as a necklace. I think this is what they meant for the necklace, not the entire compact, but you can wear it however way you want. She looks so cute in there. And here is a closer look at Princess Polly. She's got a beautiful pink and green dress with puffy sleeves, a gorgeous crown with a gem in the middle, and on the bottom she has a special feature where if you press this button, her little gem lights up. However, this one does not have a battery inside, so I'm pressing it and nothing's happening. And in order to put a battery inside her, I have to actually split her open. So this entire half comes out. As much as I want to get her to light up to show you guys, it is very difficult to open her. She is pretty much closed shut, and I don't want to risk breaking her. So just imagine this little gem lighting up, and she's pretty on her own anyway. We also have this super gorgeous see-through horse. She is golden colored and she looks kind of like a gummy. And she comes with this gorgeous carriage. The carriage is made of clear plastic with gold trimmings. And this has got to be one of the more detailed carriages I've ever seen in a compact. There's even textures on the back to make it look icy and gem-like. This is so gorgeous and I want to point out that nothing in this compact required a repaint or restoration. To attach the horse to the compact, there is a peg that just fits nicely on the horse, and she is nice and snug in there. There's also a spot for Polly. Oh my goodness, this is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. The color scheme, the textures, the details, it looks so cute. It's vintage but looks modern at the same time. This is already one of my favorite sets. I love it. And now, back to the compact. We are going to open it up and go through all the details inside. 
There is so much to unpack here. A lot going on. Lots of shiny, sparkly elements. This is called Starshine Palace after all, and if it didn't shine, then what's the point? Starting from the bottom, it looks like we have some sort of icicle slash river situation. This is supposed to emulate water, but a magical water with stars and glitter. We have a clear see-through swan here, and she travels along this path like a boat. And on this path, we see a bunch of little fish and sea creatures. I just love the graphics here. This looks so, so beautiful and so many little details. And all around here, we have crystals that are forming, rising above the ground to create these walls. And it looks very ethereal. And right in the middle, we see that same sparkly platform we saw on the other side. And this platform also spins. Look how beautiful that is. It looks like it's lighting up. I don't know how they did this or what kind of material this is. There's actually a handle here that you can use to turn the platform. I can't look away. There's a couple sets of stairs here so we can go up and down this platform. And on this side, we get a little crystal compartment. And when we open it up, we see more gems, more crystals, more treasures. And when I hold the compact up like this, you'll see these little dots all around the bottom. And I think they're just decorative elements to make the compact look shiny, to add more visual interest. It is just so mesmerizing and I can't stop staring at it. And on the second level, we get to the palace. Right away, we see a beautiful crystal throne. This whole thing reminds me of Steven Universe. It's that season where they go to space, I think it was, and they ended up in this big palace to meet the supreme leader. It was a long time ago, I don't remember, but some of you will know what I'm talking about. And this compact reminds me of that palace. On this throne, there is a spot for Polly, and we can spin it around. It's so gorgeous. Everything in this compact is hypnotizing me. It's so sparkly and it's just plastic. How do they do that? I love the architecture as well, how you can see the star in the background. Someone really thought the design through here when they made this toy. And up here we get a beautiful golden banner with two purple angels on the sides. I'm not sure why the angels exactly, but they're very cute. And the super interesting see-through yellow areas open up. I'm not sure why they also chose see-through yellow, but for me it just works. Normally I don't like neon colors, but it does give it more elements that pop out at you. I love that we can see through the windows. Here's window number two and window number three. And when we open this up, we can reveal the extra rooms. This looks like the kitchen or some kind of dining room because we can see some snacks. I believe that's cake. We have some, I can't really tell, but they do look like food. And some drinks in the middle. And the next room is her vanity, where she has some perfume and a little mirror. And I believe that little perfume over there is supposed to emulate Starshine Palace. Then we have this golden spiral staircase. And this swings outward, like this. I absolutely love how they used actual shiny gold for this because it looks so real and this is what those Proplica Sailor Moon wands are made of. And I'm impressed that it has very minimal chipping and I think the chip here is just from pulling this in and out of its place. Otherwise, I'm very impressed that it's in pristine condition. This also swings downward to make the stairs even longer. Going up the stairs, we get to her bedroom. We're gonna open it up and pull her bed down. That is so cute. It's gorgeous. Love all the see-through elements. I love that the staircase is right underneath, so it's like she's climbing all the way up to her tower, but not to be saved by a prince. We don't need a prince around here. And here it is fully open. Super, super gorgeous, unique, interesting, so many details, even the background here. We can see lots of textures. They left nothing blank. I am just so incredibly blown away by this compact, and although I've opened it and seen it before just to make sure there aren't any damages, I haven't fully looked through every single detail up until now. So right now, I am appreciating this to its fullest extent. And this is one of my top 10 favorite compacts. I just love, love, love this.
And that was the vintage Polly Pocket Starshine Palace from 1996. It is one of the most gorgeous Polly Pockets that I own in my collection. I said earlier it's my top 10, but to be honest, I think it's number two for me. Number one always being Jewel Magic Ball just because I had it when I was a kid. And I think they're very similar in terms of the crystal theme and color scheme. There are so many interesting elements inside that truly make this compact unique. But here she is and she really does go well with Jewel Magic Ball. I would say they're sisters. Thank you for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase and I'll see you on the next one.